Hello and welcome to History Pod. Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa was stolen from the Louvre Museum on the 21st of August 1911. Described by some as the greatest art theft of the 20th century, the museum itself didn't even realise that the painting had been stolen until the next day. Italian nationalist Vincenzo Perugia had previously worked at the Louvre. Acting alone, he hid in a cupboard inside the museum on the evening of the 20th of August and exited on the morning of Monday the 21st, a day when he knew the museum would be closed for cleaning. He emerged wearing a smock identical to all the other museum employees. With the museum deserted of visitors, he entered the Salon Carré where the painting hung and simply removed it from the wall. Making his way to a stairwell, Perugia removed the glass that had only recently been fitted to protect the painting from vandalism and threw away the frame. Leaving both the glass and the frame behind, he simply hid the painting, which was painted on a plank of poplar wood, under his smock, and then he left the museum. The Mona Lisa lay hidden in Perugia's Paris apartment for two years before he decided to take it to Italy in 1913. Here he made contact with Alfredo Gheri, a gallery owner, on the 10th of December, who in turn contacted the director of the famous Uffizi Gallery in Florence. The two men took the painting for what they described as safe keeping and then informed the police. Perugia served just six months in jail for the robbery and was hailed by many Italians as a nationalist hero for trying to return the Mona Lisa to her real home. 